morning everybody or where whatever time you're in i'm at in jacksonville florida at the 2024 jaxcon model show it's the uh, first coast ipms chapter down here in jacksonville florida i'm walking in i've already got my stuff set up i brought it in last night and they have a two hour uh meet up where you can come and set your cars up so you don't have to struggle with all that stuff when you get here but I'm here and I'm gonna walk in and uh, get uh, settled in and then I'll take some videos of the cars and the vendors and all those things and we'll have a good time. So stand by. I've seen this one before. The lighting in this place is terrible for video and because there's big giant windows, but we'll do what we can do. That's my SSR. I'm so proud of that build. Then here's a little truck that it says it's 135th, but there's no way that's 135th. That's probably like 187th. But it's cool anyway. And here's my three Model T's. Paint looks great on that. You know what? I just noticed something. This is my friend Skip's car, I believe. And I think that's the 35th, yeah, definitely 35th. Yeah, Type 87 4x4. So the Germans had a four wheel drive version of the Volkswagen Beetle. It would have also had, if I don't see this, but it would have had a roller. It would have been a little roller on, under the front hood. So when they went in deep ditches or something, if they hit, the roller would actually help them get through it. So that's pretty interesting. He made a, a beach buggy out of it. That's too cool. There's your Pinto station wagon. Here is a beautiful 53 Corvette. Wow, that is gorgeous. Beautiful job. Looks like a box stock build. Yeah, box stock right there on the paper. Man, that is gorgeous. He did a wonderful job with the panel lines. And the seats are, look like they've been flocked with something super fine. It looks like it's actually material. Anyway, very nice. Jaguar XKE, I believe. Is that what that is? It just says it's a Revell. I think that's an XKE. That looks wonderful. Here's a police car. Oh, sorry. It's a Johan, 1967 issued. Johan 67 AMC Ambassador. Looks like what it says under there. That's nice. Okay. I don't need no bud. Does that work? Oh man, look at that. That looks so nice. Both of these, the finish is just beautiful. Nissan Fair Lady. That's good. Mustang. A couple of Mustangs here. Great paint jobs here. All right, here's some motorcycles. This is cool. He's got the fairings taken off of it, so you can see the see the details. That's nice. Better yet, have a fire up. <laughs> good job out of there, we feel good. Now I uh, feel like mine's gonna pull up short again. 
Like I said, mine slammed with the turbo, but you know. And the drop box is so the rear end would be reasonable. Is that right? That's cool. Can you body pulls right off? Yeah. Can I see it with the, the uh... Oh boy! It's way more hiding up under there. Yes, oh yeah. We were actually made the wiring harnesses. I found a certain kind of thread that was smooth. Yeah. And actually got the right colors going to the to the ignition box and everything. Really? Yeah. Hey man, that's awesome. Thanks. And the uh, dirt modeler has those photos. They even rigged the. Oh, the hood even lifts. I have it so it tilts forward. There you go. Rigged up a little air box for the cooler. Sure did. Yeah, yeah. That's really neat. Great job. Yeah, I came with what, what are the tires? Where'd you get those from? Now those I did. Man, guilty. They're um, fireball. Are they? Yeah, they're rubber tires. Yeah. Yeah. I thought yeah. they made them in fireball. I got them for a Bronco kid. I did, and then I didn't like them. They're too small for the Bronco. I got you. They look great on there. Yeah. They didn't go to waste. Yeah, man. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the video I do sometimes. Matt? Yes, sir. I'm the guy that told you you needed a bottle of gray green paint. Yeah? I'll bring you, I've got to go get my wife. I'll bring you that bottle of mine back, but I'll never use it. Oh, well, cool. Thank you so much. If you need any extra parts for that 30. The only reason I got it. All right, man. Thank you. There's my 39 right there, shining. And the wheelie car. I mean, I'd say it's average. <laughs> I think it's above average. You, you're done good. So these are USAC. These two are, well, there's three that are the uh, USAC builds that we did with 55.4. This is Brian Burwell, Got Fuels Model Car Garage. This is his build. It is an amazing job he did. Balsa wood in the, in the rear area. Even has the wood on the, uh, I don't know his hood inside such a clean build here's the little Japanese sushi bar truck and here's my USAC build a bootlegger so we got it sitting there and then Fred's is down a couple of cars from us so we'll get to that there's another 55 right there. And look at this. Mobius 70 F100. That thing looks beautiful. Looks the showroom fresh too. Not a bit of grime on it. Great job on that. It's got curtains hanging in the uh, camper. And it has a camper. Yeah, that's really cool. 
64 Chevy. <laughs> and a Jeep Commander 4x4, an MPC kit. Look at that, that's nice. <laughs> and then look at that. He found him an old hidden off in the desert somewhere he found it and dragged it on his truck that's cool and this is Fred Henry's USAC build very nice I think he said he painted it with nail polish if I'm not mistaken got a boss Hemi type engine in it beautiful and then a weather, that's a Ravel or a monogram. It'd be a monogram, 124. It says Ravel. That's an original monogram, but it's a Ravel rebox. But that looks really, really cool. my friend Brad's car said he's got about 150 I'm sorry 50 some odd hours in just a paint job so that looks amazing took top 10 at Acme cool Cadillac Getting all the dust off of it? Yes, sir. <laughs> it gets a lot. Huh? It gets a lot of dust. It gets a lot of dust. Yeah. Mistaken? Was it that monogram? Hmm. Oh boy, Mad Max. Standing there next to it. Yes, I 
Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I recognize it. So, you brought Oh, that's beautiful. in Atlanta. But that's good to know about the uh, yeah. people not liking it. I just broke 500. I don't need him to be <laughs> back. I don't think you'll lose them. You just won't gain on that one. Some of my friends from the club down in Florida show, they were down in Ocala show. Right? My buddy Mark Bastin's got the dirt cars down there on the end. He built a really nice stuff. Uh, no, yeah, not Mark Bastin. Uh, Mark Box. But your lights are really good. Just a little bit. There you go. There you go. It's really dusty. Oh, this is one with the turbine in. A whole bunch of Check stuff, and it's dusty again. So this is a 1.8 scale Hosher. It's a 1907 Fiat. Now these kits are so detailed, they are amazing. For instance, your steering box. More than likely, you can turn the steering wheel and it will turn uh, the front wheels. The engine crank will turn the engine over. More than likely, it has a camshaft in there that will move all the uh, valve train and stuff like that, I'm thinking. They're really expensive, but they're they're amazing. Really expensive, like over a thousand dollars. No idea who this guy is. Your little one? Your little one, right? Nice. Oh, 
and we uh, mix it again to it. Take all the pictures you want. I'm So this table's kind of bare, but it's just got some display models on it. And I was just talking with a gentleman who built these, and he said he didn't think they were good enough. And I said, man, you're crazy. Trans Am, got the Bullet Mustang, got the good old General Lee there. And he built a plane, which I have noticed a British Airways plane of some sort. But yeah, I said, man, put them on the table. But he didn't, anyway. Oh, and the junior class. There's a few juniors here today. They're aircraft and a diorama, but let's recognize the juniors for building. Just gonna lighten it up a little bit. That's a Hawker Typhoon. We've got a, uh, is it a, it's not a zero, I don't think. It's a, whatever that is. Nice job. And then this diorama, 135th scale British field gun. That's pretty cool. So. Thanks for the juniors being here and representing. But there's still a lot of space for others, unfortunately. But anyway, cool. And then there's this guy, as my battery's about to die. This is a 1 8. I don't know if this is a. Uh, oh, this is one of those subscription based kits where you buy the parts and you build them. This thing is amazing. Battery's about to die, so it's probably going to cut off on this look around. If it does, that'll be okay. Man, that thing is beautiful. All right, so generally I don't film like the ships and all, although their talent that, that are in these are amazing. But I want you to look at this. So this is a 1 350th scale, and it is littered with uh, aircraft. It also is lit up inside. But these things are so tiny. I mean, look at this. So this, this fella has built every plane on the deck, built and painted. There's people that are so small. Let's see if I can, here we go. Look at that, that is amazing. The time and effort it would take to build something like that. And then inside, see them in there working. I don't think LEDs would have been in that, but you know, gotta, gotta work with what we got. But yeah, something else. All right, so here's some tractors. This is cool. Looks like an eight in Ford. Lance. That's cool. I've seen these kits. I want to get a tractor one day. Massey Ferguson, the four wheel drive tractor. What is that? A Fend It? With a shear on it and then the Porsche tractor. I have built that one. That's a really neat model kit. Well, that's cool. Cool mix of stuff here. A couple of dioramas. But look at this one. Got the uh, cable car, or not a cable car, but an electric trolley, I guess is what you would call it. I guess this is, uh, this is German. Got a little 135th scale model car there. People going down the subway. Dog taking a leak on the uh, fire hydrant. 
and another little German car. That's really neat. Great job. Here's a diorama my friend Greg built. He's got the tractor there. He's got the black smoke boiling out. Isn't that cool? Got the service truck sitting there. Chainsaw. Awful loud right now. No, the decrepit Volkswagen Beetle. That's cool. Here's one. The category is aces. Oh boy, look at this. There's a junkyard. And one thirty. No, that's not one thirty-fifth scale. That car is way smaller. Looks like one sixty-fourth, possibly. Look at that. That is too cool. Got a tractor. Oh, that's way bright. Just scrap metal everywhere. Barrels been cut. Train tracks in the back. That is too cool. I'd love to do a diorama, but man, the time it would take. It's got a little flathead in the back of the Ford pickup. Wow. The model airplane. That's a great job. And then there is a Willys right here. I don't, I just, the, the lighting is killing this. I'm sorry. It looks black. It's just beautiful paint. And I'm not sure why it's in this category. Ace of Aces. I don't know. Anyway, pretty car. Here's a trailer with some soapbox, soapbox derby cars. It's really neat. Another Porsche tractor. Weathered up a little. There's a cool radial. That's nice. And then here's the Schwinn Stingray. That's neat. This is interesting. Here's an air compressor. Huh. Scratch built air compressor. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. And a little dozer. To me, a 148 scale dozer. And what is this? Looks like a fire extinguisher. Huh. Scratch built. Very cool. All right, so the awards, the judging just got finished, so everybody's storming back in to see what what they won. This 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 uh, show does. You get, as Fred Henry calls them, medallions. I call them coins. So if you did good enough, you get a first, second, or third place coin, and then they'll have like best of show. But anyway, I uh, I guess I'll close this out because I gotta pack up. So. It's really loud. Thank you for uh, you guys, all your support. Thanks for watching. Come here next year. It's a great show, Jack's Con 2025 next year, and uh, have your models on the table, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody. Um, I gotta go see if I won any coins, medallions. And he's about to call out like the best of showing off. I'm not going to be a part of that, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. See you. Bye.